dystopian literature. Ah, lash move. The Time Machine is published in the 1890s, and this is a time of huge technological innovation. So we're on the brink of the 20th century, and think about the things that are invented in the 20th century. Suddenly, we're gonna have cars, computers, not yet, but computers are coming, and everything in between. So at the end of the 19th century, Life had been getting better for people, and it seemed like it was going to continue to get better. There was increasing urbanization, people were living in cities, and people had been making all sorts of gains in scientific knowledge. This led to all sorts of theories about what was going to happen to society in the future. And one theory that was bouncing around a lot at this time was social Darwinism. So social Darwinism is a kind of misguided outgrowth of actual Darwinism, which is the scientific theory of evolution. Social Darwinism argues basically that within human society, the fittest among us are going to survive. But the fittest means all sorts of different things. So the smartest people, the kind of most socially aggressive people, and that basically gives a lot of people license to trample all over others, assuming that they are better and fitter and more deserving. So this is basically a justification of inequality and unequal wealth distribution so that people who thought that they were strong thought that they deserved to be rich and they didn't need to help the people who were poor because those were weak people who would die out, hopefully, anyway. Right. So these are the ideas that H.G. Wells is playing with, and he is wondering if you project several thousand years in the future, like what could possibly come out of all of this? Mm -hmm. 